I think we're good to go. I, I think we are here, and man has Mega Random delivered us a map. Ladies and gents, we've got eight players, we've got eight kings, and this is standard Regicide Diplomacy. So, if you've been following all the crazy games over the last few months, we do like our exploding kings, but sometimes we need to remind ourselves what true Regicide is like, and that is what we have here. Uh, we have players who have played in these games before. We have players who have never played in a community game before. It's a nice mix. And again, Mega Random has given us a really unique map. Uh, tons of water towards the center. And what looks to be some type of moat around that lake in the middle. Uh, so to start it all off with the introductions, we have Elixin uh, playing as the Persians here in the gray. In the blue, we've got Space Kinch playing as the Spanish. In the orange, we have Crypto Mike Trading playing as the Chinese. In the yellow, we have Naveen Dennis playing as the Japanese. In the red, we've got Violent Villagers. <laughs> Too bad this person is in Spanish. Uh, playing as the Byzantines. In the green, we have Bodan Kostka playing as the Lithuanians. And then last but not least, actually, no, there's two more. We have Wacky Mold, 546, 944 playing as the Portuguese. And then last but not least, we have Chrome uh, playing as the Aztecs. Um, of the players I've just listed, I recognize two as players that have definitely played in community games before. Um, Crypto Mike Trading, and then uh, Space Kinch. Now, Violent Villagers rings a bell, but I'm not 100% on that. And then most of the others, I do not believe I have seen, and they did say in the Discord chat where we set this up ahead of time that they are new to community games. So forgive me, players, if you rewatch this. Uh, you know, players never know what I'm saying about them, so deep down they're like, oh, he's probably saying all these awesome things about my build orders. And then I said they'd never played before. Uh, when maybe they have, but, you know, I do my best out here. Okay, so, three boar start, double berries. They start with a tower. There's lots of golden stone. Um, this is actually a pretty good map. And what will be interesting is th the amount of water that's on this map. Because that can help you if you wish to fish, but, like, the water, I believe, will have little importance in the long term. And that would be different if players were to dock here, so that's actually fun to think about. But if you dock here, you can't take fish. So you would probably initially, if you wanted to add economy anyways, want to dock towards the center. And then maybe, uh-oh, as purple goes this way, uh, figure things out later. Now, we have a couple players who don't seem to know the situation with the alliances. Um, now, I talk about this a lot. Um, you have to go to the top right, and there's, there's a couple different windows there. And one of them allows you to ally people. But like, yellow has not allied anyone. Purple has not allied anyone. Red has not allied anyone. And green has not allied anyone. And you actually had Wacky Mold say, Oh no, I'm one of those people that doesn't know how to ally. And now Wacky Mold says, Hi Green, I wonder if you can tell me how to ally. Now, this tells me Wacky Mold found the chat window. There's a separate window for diplomacy. So at least Wacky Mold is chatting to individual people. That's good to see. Um, apparently, uh, King was in danger here. Uh, that it was Yellow's King. And Yellow's King should be able, able to scurry home. And Wacky Mold is asking Chrome how to ally. And other people should probably be asking the same, but good on Purple for saying something. It looks like maybe with the stress of the situation, Green just forgot. Next to the button, you choose who to talk to. And now Red says, ah, it's Diplo. Sorry. And actually, look what Green just did. So Green just declared war or set enemy to the people that had not set an alliance to him. And Green says you can ally if you want. Okay, so it looks like they're figuring that out. You know, you have to imagine it's a stressful time, especially if they haven't played before. Red's now apologizing. Sorry I shot your Scott Pink. Thought it was a different vibe. So, everyone wants to be cool. Uh, Puppy, I, I don't know their elo. Um, I have not been able... I, I did not check that, so... And for those wondering kind of how this works, so we do it on Fridays. Now, not every Friday, because I'm busy. Uh, and, and especially over the next couple months, it's going to be maybe every other. But we do it on Fridays. You have to be in the Discord. 
And uh, it's a random drawing. It's not rigged, despite everyone in my chat about to say it's rigged. Um, so don't listen to them. And then we have no ELO restrictions. So we, we could, in theory, have, you know, the best player in the world. We could have, like, Viper in here with the worst player in the world, uh, in theory. Um, now, those people do not really enter my community games, but you have a good mix, right? And, and I think that mix is good. Some people have yes. proposed that I have a higher ELO uh, game and then a lower ELO game. But I, I like a mix because when there's a stronger player, that's always a big talking point. You know, you need to have a bully. You need to have a king because, you know, otherwise the story is kind of lame. So now sometimes it ends up being pretty even. And actually, it seems like a pretty even game so far. Uh, but 24 villagers versus, let's say, 19 now, that, that could always lead to much bigger things later. We don't really know. So, oh my God, Capture Age. I forgot, guys. Capture Age updated. Look at this. So I didn't know that they pushed out the update for community games. But I hadn't been talking to them about updating and adding a few features. So this is really cool. So now uh, it says power text, which I'm, I'm going to ask them to remove that. <laughs> I don't know why it says power text, but it's showing when people are advancing to the next age. So I don't know exactly what's going to show up because I don't remember exactly what I asked of them. But I, I did say I wanted like important technologies to show up over here. Like, aging up, and then things like Onager, Siege Onager, Cavalier, and then I think the Elite version of any unit. So, like, Elite Mangadai, yes. Elite Raton Archer. So, yeah, I felt like I don't want every technology up here. If we had all the eco technologies, that would be really, really, really fluttery. But, yeah, I'm hoping that this is uh, a good addition. It's actually very nice, too, because I was wondering when we were going to get that. Uh, hi, by the way. Always been watching your videos on YouTube. Today's the first time on the live stream. Yo, what's up, Two's Live? Welcome. Glad to have you. Glad to have others. And glad to have a map that is uh, more unique than others. Also, only one player has docked here. And that would be Space Kinch. And Space's score is probably going to skyrocket because this, this fishing ship is scouting. And the scout is scouting. So you've got like two scouting units. And you get ten, you get a hundred points for per ten percent of the map scouted. Also, I think space is doing a pretty good job as a whole. So, you liked seeing all the text in the old spec overlay. Yeah, all the text would like fly in. What I am gonna do actually is I'm gonna remove the market events because I don't want to see eight people balance their economy with the market. But we will still have the tribute and chat events. Um, I always have to toggle that stuff on and off for 1v1s and team games. Also, I have this now. Orange, we're next to each other. One to team. Okay, so this is where players will finally start to relax a little bit more as they settle into the game and think about alliances. And also, Crypto and Space Kinch are more experienced in community games. So I think they'll have a lot of trust there. They'll want to... As much as like we are a welcoming community... When it comes to community games, the people who've been been in and around community games, deep down, they don't want the new kids yes. to show up. They want you guys... They, they don't want new players. <laughs> they, they want the community to get smaller so they can play more, and they absolutely want to discourage the, the younger guys. Now, it's not quite that brutal. But also, you know, you, you've seen this guy in a couple of videos. If you're hanging around the streams and watching the videos, you, you know how good some of these players are. So I think this these two right here... I don't know what we'd call them. Uh, we'll call them the space trading team. I feel like the space trading team <clears throat> could be pretty yes. strong. Sorry, I'm like losing my voice right now. <clears throat> uh, red, neighbors, friends. Violent Villager says yes. And there's always one, guys. There's always one that will not change the chat settings. Uh, yes. What was the video? Failure to communicate on YouTube this past week. This poor person was trying to talk to somebody. It wasn't talking to the right person. Other people were seeing the message. It's not easy to have the toggle chat on and off. And that's not exactly something that you guys practice either, right? Like, you guys probably would only do it if you got into these types of games. So, Space says, do you want to snipe anyone off the bat? Yes. Good, guys. We purple... 
Stay on green and gray allies. Okay, this is chrome. Also, I've been I've always called this color teal. And I brought it up to my girlfriend recently. She said that's not teal. And I'm like, I'm so far gone, you know? It's like, I've said it for seven years. I know. I, the sad thing is I, I, I don't even remember how to correctly pronounce what is maybe the more appropriate color. Is it cyan? I, I don't know. Anyway, she's like, yeah, you got to stop saying teal. That's not teal. So I'm probably still going to say teal, but at least I, I wanted to point it out. Yes. that like, it, it was further told to me that that is incorrect. You are correct, T90. It's teal. Are we starting that argument now? Okay. Um, Red says, don't kill me with latest, though. And no, hold on. I got to look at these messages. Can I take your relic? Yes. No XD. Lol, Lith, sure. Okay, so, so Red said, initially said no. And then Red said, oh, you're Lithuanian. Sure, just don't kill me with the latest. That's cool. That's nice. Green says no worries, but I, Violent Villagers is the player I'm most interested in right now because Violent Villagers is not being very sneaky with the chat. Also, side note, Green has not allied Yellow, but Yellow has allied Green. I believe that is a mistake from earlier, but just worth pointing that out. Cyan? Cyan? Okay, gotcha. Well, anyways... I figured I'd bring that up. Green, teal, gray. I'm happy to take orders and do your bidding. Oh, yeah. I like this. Every good team needs a uh, needs a, uh, a doormat. You know? The person that just lets you walk all over them. The person that does your bidding, as Purple just said. And And sometimes you have to know your place. I'm not trying to be rude, but, like, if you are not as good as all these other players... Be a good ally. Be a good teammate. And then maybe you can make it to the later stages of the game. Don't try and be, you know, all confident and cocky and then die because you don't have the skills to back it up. Yeah, doormat. I, I like that term. I, it's, it's a pretty... Maybe it's not the best term. Maybe I don't use it all the time, so you've never heard that before. But, you know, some people in life are doormats. I'm not saying you should be a doormat, but in commie games... I think you've got to recognize when you need to step up and when you need to bend the knee. Yes. Uh, Magical World says, did T90 play Bamboo Nothing 40 minutes ago or is his account hijacked? Yeah, that was not me, my friend. Um, that is an ongoing situation where there's a hacker somehow spoofing himself as me playing games. I will eventually make a video on that and I'm not pleased that that's the case. I've also been given no guarantees that my Steam account hasn't been compromised, but they basically said, as far as we know, it's probably a server issue. You're probably good. I reset all my stuff. <laughs> Do we know if you're the real T90? Oh, God, you guys are on to me. Oh, no. I didn't think anyone would think of that. Yeah, this actually isn't T90. Uh, my name is actually Jeff, and I'm using a voice, mo uh, voice changer here, so... All right, so as I mentioned before, uh, Space Kinch is leading with the Eco. And no surprise, this is a type of player who has docked. Yes. Uh, you might think, well, T90, okay, that's 10 fishing ships, what, whatever. But no, that food gives you the food to create villagers out of TCs, and then you can mix in the farms as opposed to the other way around. Yeah, what the Jeff? <laughs> Again, not exploding kings. It feels kind of silly to put this in the title, but I feel like, you know, more recently we've done a lot of that. So this is standard regicide. And look at this. Green's going to take that relic. It will be interesting to see these two, right? Because Red said, sure, you can take it. Just don't kill me with Latus. Watch Green just say, okay, and kill him with Paladin instead. Red's got a TC here. It looks like there's extra stone and gold around the ring of land. Um, man, can you imagine how cool it would be if the Spanish player docks and goes cannon galleons? Be curious to see how space handles the top, being top score thing. The space says, so how's everyone's boom coming? Well, Wacky Mold is currently in the feudal age. So Wacky Mold is going to be catching up in that regard. Uh, Wacky Mold's resources are... 
Good enough to go to the next stage, actually. Uh, just needs a little bit more gold. I'm really saving up the stone right now. <laughs> Crypto says good, just chilling. Red says pretty chill. And then purple says very stressed out. Yeah, that tracks. Okay, Chrome is swearing. This is a PG stream. Stone, please. Game, so 1 a.m. sweating right now, 11. It'll be fine. Don't sweat it, perp. We're all just having fine. And then Wacky Mold says stone, please. And now Wacky Mold is finally on the way to Castlage. If Wacky Mold is the first person to die, life is not fair. Also, where's the king? Oh, it's underneath. Oh, it's underneath the awning. He wanted some fresh air, but he didn't want to get sunburnt. I get it. Hmm. T90, if Spanish went cannon galleons and sent the king on water, could they ever lose? Yes, they could still lose because you would need to have, I think even with 199 cannon galleons, Actually, it would be 198 cannon galleons, one transport, and then your king. I think even with that, somebody somewhere could maybe scramble up docks. Like, you'd have seven people that could try and go for docks. But I think your point stands as it, it, there's no way seven people are going to coordinate that well. So that could be a really good strategy. But it might also be a better strategy to just keep your king next to your cannon galleons right here. But then I guess things on land could hit you, so... Spanish cannon galleons do not suck, Shulker. And maybe you didn't realize that this is Spanish, but if we're talking about this civilization, it's insane. Also, regular cannon galleons are a bit better these days, right? Uh, at least a little bit easier to get to. Okay, so uh, Wacky Mold at 28 minutes arrived to Castle H. I know a certain percentage of people who will be watching out there uh, feel like they relate to Wacky Mold. They like the game, they play the game, but they don't play that much, and so they don't really have their build orders down. Now, this is not a slight to Wacky Mold, but it's just the reality that Wacky Mold here is behind. Not too far behind Green, however. At the same time, though, Green was able to get four relics with the Lithuanians. Does have three town centers, and this is in a pretty decent position. We have trade beginning in corners. But it's been very quiet in the north between Crypto Mike Trading and Space Kinch. So I think those two are rather happy with their position at the moment. The red signals and says, is this where Auto Scout ends? Good question, actually. <laughs> Auto Scout never stops, though. So I think that these two had actually just clicked their scouts here and happened to be in the same area. Hmm. Yeah, she loves you're you're actually right. Like they might never have enough numbers to be able to take out that king. But you might not have enough eco if you have 200 cannon galleons or 198 to continue to make more of them either. But yeah, I certainly see what you mean. Okay, the power techs are coming in. We have the two players, we have the space trading team who talked to each other before. What is that bother you that it says power techs by the way? <laughs> I, again, I told them I wanted, like, the really important technologies, and I gave lists of examples. And they were like, oh, T90 wants the powerful technologies up there, so let's put power techs. I don't know. I, <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Just wasn't expecting it. I hope we staying friends, Yellow. I got no plans to jump ya. Hmm. Now... Again, Red is talking to everybody, right? Like, people want to feel like they are special in life, all right? So even if you plan on st back stabbing them in the bag, <laughs> um, you probably should talk to only them, right? You should you should set aside some friends. Thought the castle... Uh, okay, meant to say, though the castle in the trade is a little suspect, says Violent Villagers. Yeah, that could be to protect your trade, though. Hmm. Yellow says, no, just need it for military. Okay, smiley face. All righty. So let's talk about the directions of trade for a second. We've got uh, crypto actually trading from the very north to the south. That's very risky trade, right? Because you're running through more people's bases. You've got green. Why is green going this way, actually? I'm a little confused on green situation. 
All right, is Green trying to trade to the left and the right? That seems to be it. I think Green is trading to the east and west. Diversifying a little bit. Um, Purple's base is looking nice and cute. But Purple's about to be an imp and might rely on some Fatorias for eco. And Blue's ready. And Blue says, I ate orange. What do? What do? What's the plan here? We've got stables for blue. Blue is 163 eco. You have chrome at 127, and then you have red at 183. So for what red lacks intact with chat, red is is all there when it comes to eco. And crypto says red looking strong. So again, you have a situation where a player is very strong, but they don't have friends. They kind of have friends. They might. The others don't know that the chat's not only going to them, but. Just a lot of violent villagers on the mind. And Bowden says, all good guys, question mark. And wow, crypto to everyone else. Says red looking strong, guys. This is interesting. Let's see who talks to crypto now. Because crypto had talked mainly to blue before. Wait a second, wait a second. So, the guy who's, like, on my account is in my chat right now? If you keep ignoring me, so you're gonna, like, resort to blackmailing, so I can't use my account. T90, by the way, I'm currently queuing for a ranked game with your account. I hope you'll decide to answer my messages and accept to get in touch with me. Together, we can force the devs to spend some time on fixing the game. If you keep ignoring me, my last resort is to use hidden AOE endpoint to ban your account temporarily. It won't last, but it certainly will prevent you from going further with your live stream today. Your choice. Dude, you want to message me? If you want to talk to me, you want to make a change for the game, message me. Don't spoof my account or get my account or do whatever you're doing and create a scene for attention. I, I am more than willing to have a conversation on fixing things and clearly... You know that there's some loopholes where you can do this type of stuff. But I'm not just going to, like, stop what I'm doing right now and go message you. I'm not. <laughs> All right? Uh, anyways, back to this. Jeez, man. So we have power tech. The power tech. Okay, so this is the first elite technology that I saw. So we have the elite Chukunu. So I think, as I said, it'll be... Aging up, and it'll be really important, Tex. Not now, but later once you're done. Sure, but, like, maybe in the meantime, you could stop doing that. Possibly. I I'm, cool with I'm cool with having that chat, but maybe you could just, like, stop doing that. Also, if you really want things to change for the better, that would be cool. Anyways, um, the chat continues here. <clears throat> That was scary. Trade cog so fast on map XD. Thought you coming to nuke me, amigo. Didn't mean to frighten. It's okay. To be honest, as two strong players, I'm not sure we can be friends forever anyways. Blue says we can try, but I'm not very sneaky. Okay, so space yeah. is buddy-buddy with orange, apparently, but is trying to, to reach out and talk to other people here. Now, I met, sorry, I got distracted. Um, but I didn't see Orange. I don't think my team likes me, and I like Crypto. Who's your team? Anyone is here. If you tell me, I promise to tell you and not tell them. Okay, so maybe there's something going on there with those two as well. Okay. So, military count is what I'll switch to now. Stockpile is obviously quick glance. Very high for those three players. It's actually showing more than that. It shows the top three, but I think you get the point. A 50 military for Naveen. Now, Naveen said first community game ever. There's going to be some stress there. And then some people, they really want to go for kills right away. So will Naveen be one of those players? 56 military is quite a lot. Blue's still talking to Red across the pond. Says, I have an alliance with Orange. Would you care to join? Now, this is the same Orange that said to everyone else, hey, Red could be a problem. The space change, if you want to bring a third person in the relationship, you might want to run it past the person you're currently involved with first. 
And Red's is too powerful. Red, this is the secret of time. You're saying this to everybody. Every week, it kills me, man. It kills me. Hey, Red, just in case you don't know, I can see your chat. And Red says, it's okay. I'm on all chat. <laughs> Red's like, I don't care. I have nothing to hide from you. I will say everything I say to the world. Arn says, who are you talking to, Red? Who are you talking to, Red? And now Violent Villager says, Blue. And Blue's going to be so pissed. This is creating so much drama. Or Orange is going to be pissed. Blue's, everyone's going to be annoyed at this. And now Blue's like, hold on, I have to explain myself before I'm not trusted anymore. Trying to get him with us, Orange, tonguey face. Dude, that tonguey face would make me not believe those words. Yo, listen, T90 Unofficial. The, my, my stream chat's not the place, all right? If you want to use that account, that's cool. Maybe save it. Wait a week. But, like, this is not the place. I'm trying to cast a game. Yes. I, I've got more words that I could use. But unlike Red, I'm going to uh, change my chat settings and save them for the time and place that they uh, are for. All right. Heavy Scorpion is a power tech. Let's go. Crypto with Heavy Scorpion. Then we've got Paladinos. We've got Bombard Tower. We've got Heavy Cab Archer. So lots of big techs coming in. I like to see it. Stone is my favorite, and there's no stone. Well, you do have a civilization that can help with that. But Wacky Mold might not know the Portuguese because they did go random civilization here. Ah. Yellow says, so when do people start fighting? And it looks like Red has passed along the information that a Fatoria could be placed. Herp, you don't have Town Watch, by the way. <laughs> what a weird thing to backseat on. <laughs> <laughs> I also hear villagers constantly being deleted in Chromestown. Uh, I mean, they're going to do it. These three are going to do it as well. We have blue, orange, and red at 170 plus eco. No. I cannot join you, so I will fight you. Good luck, says red. That was sent to everybody. Red, red, you're not doing yourself any favors. Sometimes people will come back after a community game. They'll say, hey, like, this is my, this is my community game. Or this is my first community game. What could I do better? With red, your your gameplay seems pretty strong. It's li literally just the chat. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe red's gonna win this community game. Certainly not giving Zelf a lot of options here. All right. So here comes some cab archers. There there might be a king out in the open, but I doubt it. And red now just turns on blue and orange, and says, "Good luck, have fun, man." This is a confident player right now. If there was ever any debate on if Red was dangerous and they should attack Red between these two, that debate is done now. And so Space immediately turns on Red. And I like this. Crypto combined Red enemied me and just made it to one word. red amined me red amined me Kill the highest score, fam. So now everyone's like supposedly going to be on Red and Red's maybe all about it. Red said, now Red changes chat settings and says, I'm no longer allied with blue or red. The two of them wanted to kill, wanted us to kill you all. Well, I feel like that, that message could have maybe happened before you made the decision, right? Because then you could see who's going to be fighting with you. Blue is uh, prepping for war and then green on the other side is asking for a relic. Yellow isn't sure which side to fight for right now. And I uh, guess we'll see. Yellow has now turned on Crypto. Oh, God. <laughs> Crypto's like, are you serious? And look at Red show up here with these. Re Red's going petards? Maybe those were misclicks. Red's going for heavy cab archers, which is not the best with Byzantines, let me tell you. And now Orange is letting everyone know that like yellow is also a problem. And I think Yellow might have chose the wrong time to take an engagement. He is coming in with Elite Samurai, though, and that's exciting. Missing a few upgrades here or there. Yes. But Yellow's like, first community game ever. I'm here to fight. I'm not here to boom. 
Let's go. Yeah, I completely forgot that Byzantines get heavy cavalry. Um, but they don't get bloodlines, so they are, you know, weaker overall. But man, look at these samurai go. So it seems like this is a 2v2 for now. I don't think anyone else is going to get involved. There is some siege coming in from red. Red, however, is not enemy to blue, right? Or maybe the cataphracts are just on no attack stance. Yeah, that's what it is. Something that Red has done a really good job of, though, is prep production buildings and has kept the queue going so far. Again, we've got lots of military on the field. It's not all being used right now. And Yellow says, oh, I probably should have clicked Arbalest. Whoops. Now Arbalest is on the way. Um, Gray, we cool, right? I've said a bit to you and I'm trading with you. So more chat coming. I'm trying to follow this as the fight continues. Happy Friday. Uh, I can never say your name, so I always say T-Sack. Might take offense to that, but nice to see you. Good to be back with some community games here. But overall with this fight, I think that blue and orange are going to be able to hold. Um, you know, the surprise factor wasn't really there with that attack. You, you probably want Siege to be there right when you start uh, a turn like that. And so, you know, I got to question things a little bit. But we do have green showing up with paladins, Lithuanian paladins, 14 plus 6 attack. And that would change things, actually. That's huge. What's going on over here? Anything? Purple's going to run over here with a ton of organs. Okay, so, I mean, maybe everyone is going to go. Maybe Violent Villagers' tactic is working. Honestly. Maybe everyone's going to go against orange and, and blue. Something that I think has helped red, which I thought would hurt, is how everyone was seeing messages from him. Blue and orange weren't really talking to the other players, so I think the other players don't feel appreciated by them. And uh, now orange is all confused, but, I mean, Violent Villagers was letting it all hang out in the open. And look at this! Everyone is turning on blue! And probably orange as well. The king is in there, guys. And this could be the end for space in the north. It's so funny to me how what I thought would be a mistake with chat has actually helped at least at this point. Uh, Blue's king has died now. Excuse me, I just missed it. It was right there. You probably saw it on your screens. And these guys are pumped. Space is laughing like I can't believe it. Like five people just attacked me. What's happened? And now I think Crypto Mike Trading is going to go down. And now Crypto immediately is like, what can I try? Peace, guys. 4v1 ain't fair. Okay. If I could rig what was going to happen in this game, if this was scripted, I would have one of the players say, correction, it's 5v1. And then immediately turn on him and run into his base with something. <laughs> that would be so funny. Um, anyways, I, I do believe that these others over here are not needed against orange. Orange does simply not have enough. You've got skirmishers and paladins and the army's just not really there anymore for Crypto Mike. Grace is no explosions. Uh, frowny face. I wanted some classic regicide today. I saw some YouTube comments. I read those comments. People saying they love the explosions, but they'd like to mix it up a little bit more. Come back to regicide classic blue says my king got ejected and just stood there well he was probably stunned at how much army was in his base but at the moment i think nothing crazy will happen until we see orange cleared up so the first episode of this game is about to come to a close they've been teasing it for a while now and whenever that king dies wherever that king is actually where is he why can't I see the king? Oh, oh, there it is. I think that's when players will start to make other decisions. Guys, look at red's score. And now red signals the king from orange after researching treason. Red says, yes? You should really all kill me soon, tonguey face. But take that king first. <laughs> wow, red is interesting. Like, I want to hate how Red has chatted in this game, but I can't. Because it's worked. I mean, I agree with what Crypto's saying. 
And the others are all talking behind Red's back now about going to kill him eventually. Yeah, this could be the end for Crypto. I kind of feel like Crypto doesn't even know the king is there. And Crypto's like, hello! Hello! Dead. Alright. Well, now Red has been... Wait, 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 wait. Red turns on... Eh, not everyone, but a lot of these players. Yellow and green. You my only allies now. I enemy rest. Whoa, what a power play. Wow, I feel... Okay, so I'm trying to think on how to word this. So... I've said this before. Yes. Oh, man, everything's happening in chat today. Mods, you're going to have to... If you could just get rid of the bots, thank you. Um, so, so here's the deal. Like, sometimes in these games, players, they don't know anyone. It's They're impressionable because they, there's not a lot of... Um, they don't have as much experience. Yes. And so everyone's just sitting in there thinking like, Hey, am I going to have someone to fight with here? I'm really concerned I'm going to be alone. Red is, Red is just... Talks to everyone to make them feel involved. And now, when it's getting serious, just says, This is the deal. Doesn't give them a say. Doesn't ask. Just says, this is the deal. You're now my friends. Wow. Okay. Um, and so we're going to have Chrome. Uh, so, so gray, purple, and teal all together against red. But this could also lead to those three players having to attack green and having to attack yellow as well. So I guess we'll find out. Um... But hey, I mean, Purple had a slow start, but these organ guns are going to do tons of work on this side. And we're going to have Elite Eagles, organ guns, and then what is Gray making? Paladins, right? Paladins. A strong composition. I think Latus, Paladin, Cataphract, Halb, and then I guess like maybe Samurai on this side. Actually, Samurai would be super helpful against everything except for maybe the organ guns. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, now green turns on teal. The red signals that. So yeah, this is uh, kind of a 3v3 right now. And no sign that that's really going to change, to be honest, until one of the teams goes down. Ah, interesting. Yeah, uh, Varian, it's a really cool concept. Um, I, I think the... I, I think it's one of those things you're just going to have to play by ear a little bit. And as long as you establish that, I think that's perfectly understandable. Eagles are very poor against Cataphracts, and they are very poor against Paladins with six plus 16 attack. Or, sorry, plus 6 attack. And look at Red. Look at Red. Has made, like, a little Bombard Tower circular thing. <laughs> Is using towers and walls to wall out the tower that has the king. Okay. How's Purple doing? Purple's over here. And purple is going to still continue to make progress. Speaking of making progress, uh, everyone involved in that attack are slowly still just taking out some buildings over here. New spams on the way. We had a Treb follow-up from Gray and Organ Gun follow-up from purple. And green has just declared war on purple, which I have to imagine is a mistake. I don't think that was intentional by... Wait... No, that is intentional. Excuse me. I, I got that wrong and he got that right. That is the correct play. This castle from green is going to clear out a lot of the trade from the players that are attacking him right now. We'll see if green's going to get the support from red. I mean, I guess red was getting the support from green, but there's just a lot of stuff happening right now. And the military count is so high for green and for teal. It's not so high for red. It's not so high for yellow either. Yellow's massing some hand cannons, which is a good decision against eagles but they are slow units so that could become a problem and the eagles now break in okay we are quickly approaching a situation where no one could have trade by the way like uh i guess this is that's crypto's trade but so much of the trade is going to die in the corners red is also making bombard towers down here and i don't think okay i guess there is a little bit of trade running this a ways for red and green, but it's not a lot. It's not the amount of trade that you would want to last you for the rest of the game. So with that said, look at the stockpile. There's actually three players that have 13,000 gold. Oh, wait, two of which are dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let's look then. Yeah, I mean, for some players, it's pretty low on gold. 
Uh, I think more than anything, it's going to be how they spend it, though, and what the production's like. We'll see if there's going to be any backstabs. But, man, Wacky Molds. And this is this is awesome. Wacky Mold with all the Trebs being backed up. And that's something that Gray and Purple have done a really good job of, is they've supported with Siege. And taking out castles is so important in the long term. Red lost a castle there. Green's now going to lose multiple castles here, and you start to just lose control. And Purple's attacking Green and says, I quote, Green rhymes with mean. <laughs> I've heard silence is violence. I've never heard green equals mean. Should we do that with every other color? Red is dead, maybe. That could happen. And there's no redemption. <laughs> Oh, this is sneaky. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think Red's going to try and snipe. Actually, Yellow has a Samurai inside of Red's Ram, which is kind of funny. Well, it's been an eventful day, guys. It's been an eventful day. This has been an eventful game. Green's going to drop another castle right behind this. Not the smartest thing I've ever seen. But I guess then again, the Paladins are all here. And the Paladins should be able to do very well here. Um, now, you'll, you'll want to target the Trebs, but also just let them fight everything else. Actually, Green could clear this. Green's got 10,000 HP of Paladins. Plus, Red is finally here to back it all up. And they do not have an answer to Paladin. Eagles is not the answer. Organ Guns is not the answer. You'd need, like, Camel or a lot of Halberdier. Or, I guess, in more, like, special cases, uh, some unique units out there. But, okay. But now they could push this back. And now look at the army counts. Now, Red's up to 113. Green's got to be right behind yellow. Green's got 52 paladins here. Um, and yellow's just kind of holding. Like, yellow hasn't even needed to help yet. It's kind of just been green and red so far. And if I had to guess, I would say gray and purple and teal are going to start to be worried now. The gray is going to make halbs. And hopefully gray will continue to make some paladins as well. But halbs is definitely important here. Yellow, this is so many people are dead, question mark. This is true. I'm going to assume Yellow noticed the others died, but maybe Yellow did not. Gray kind of realizing that Yellow is probably on the other team. Will correctly turn on Yellow. Remember, Eagles have a lot of attack with the Aztecs. So, there is that. 9 plus 8 attack. But still less attack than Paladins, and it's a third of the HP is Paladin. And these things specialize in Pierce Armor, so they'd be very good against, like, Archer units, when there's no Archer units out here right now. I could see Yellow coming over to fight soon. It seems like Yellow's realizing what's going on now. And again, as we've got keeps in that corner, the trade is very, very poor at the moment for some of these players. But Gray does have some trade running. And it seems to be running the right direction anyways. Is yellow... Yellow is enemied... To teal. Right? Yes. Yellow is enemied to teal. And yellow is trading... Through teal's base. I guess the trade is actually dying to Gray's crossbows over here. But that's funny. Probably not the person you want to trade with there, yellow. Hmm. Okay. All right, so the Paladins continue to own. What's the KD look like right now? I'm so jealous of green right now. 590 kills and 90 deaths. That's insane. Yeah, and then look look at the KD for Teal. It shows you how, uh, how unique the Eagles are. Like, the Eagles are a very strong unit, but only in certain cases. Gray declares war on green and comes over here to help with crossbows. Uh, he's Persians. The crossbows only cost wood, which I guess is nice. Uh, it just seems like they've just got a big ball of units now. It's all about numbers for them. Speaking of units that aren't really helpful, Albert Ears. There's no horseman over here. Not anymore, anyways. Maybe he was expecting more to come in from Gray. But then again, much like these crossbows, I mean, the crossbows are doing one damage a hit right now. You know, just like that, and maybe the Eagles, it might be more of a numbers game. Here. So, we will uh, find out more and more. I, I want to see what Yellow does when Yellow arrives. Here comes Yellow now. 
And yellow has not attacked gray just yet. Wait, yellow is allied with purple. This is interesting. So allied with purple. Uh, looks like the new notifications thing is bugged right now. Uh, okay, 116. Can someone remember this point of the game? Actually, if Hardy's around. Hold on. Can I fix that? Never mind. I'm just trying to think of times to maybe report to capture it so we can fix that later. Um, this is weird, though. Again, like yellow. Wait, yellow's now turning on green? I think yellow really wants to defend purple. But yellow's attacking purple's ally. And also attacking that allies enemy <laughs> so i actually never mind the bugs fixed i don't really know where yellow stands at the moment and i don't know if anyone else understands it either yeah there's no new new notifications i think that's just meant to stay up there possibly i'm still not used to that feature being there but um okay also trade on water is sneaky didn't think about that too much Red is making more towers in the north, so they've got three corners locked down with towers. There hasn't been a lot of chatter here. The red says need siege, bombard cannons, and onagers. I think the problem for yellow will be if yellow continues to attack anyone that is teamed, like if yellow ever attacks green or ever attacks red, then this becomes problematic and yellow will most likely be killed. For now, yellow seems okay. Now, teal turns on yellow. And purple just says we need a better strat. I mean, this is essentially a team game now. There's no diplomacy. So, the strat is trade, make army, and eventually kill these guys. What you could do, part of your strategies, could be to contact yellow and say, Hey, yellow, my friend, go and do this to red. But I don't know if that would be a very safe move for yellow. So yeah, that's what Teal's talking about. Like, we need trade. I mean, it's I guess it's not really easy for uh, these players to realize that yellow is allied with purple. And yellow's not really here that frequently. So no one's going to yell it at purple for not attacking yellow because yellow's not in the midst of the battles too frequently either. Like, this is still so weird. Attacking green is just such a bad move. And I think Green's going to notice that. Like, yo, what are you doing? Why are you attacking me? Maybe not. I mean, these samurai are going to have so many kills because no one's attacking yellow, it feels like. <laughs> the samurai, this group of 11 samurai have 68 kills. Dang. Yeah, we do use our Discord to set this up. Somebody can link it for you, I'm sure. We're going to have production buildings over here from green. Let's check stockpiles. We haven't done that in a long time. Not only the amount of gold, but the amount of gold workers is important here. Gray was 16, green 24, red 36. There is very little gold income for the other players in this game, which should eventually mean that they would get killed off. That said, they are making some progress, and maybe they can get some trade if they make progress into this corner. Mm. Also, gray is being annoying, too. Like, this is a lot of those gold gold workers we just looked at for red. And I've seen these gray crossbows around multiple times killing trade. They were over here earlier. I don't know if gray's even paying attention to that, but it seems like they were clicked to that area. And yeah, just leave the crossbows there and send the paladins toward the trade. That's good work. Actually, guys, players could run out of wood. Look at that. They could be fighting for wood control soon. Okay. Well, Purple and Teal are working good together here. And Purple continues to take out these buildings. And again, I'll go back to the military counts. And Teal's been going crazy. Uh, this is sad for Yellow. Those scorpions were traveling across the map and they're getting killed off by Halbs now. But okay. Well, my friends, the pressure continues. Still not a ton of water trade from green. I think that would be the safe route to go if you don't have the corners fully secured. 
But then again, it's like, it's not exactly safe if they realize it. Yellow, I think, is is trying to trying to ease into this game here. Uh, Yellow is the first community game ever. I imagine the pressure is high. And it does seem like Yellow is a bit more inexperienced, but Yellow's just the issue for Yellow is that there's no forward production buildings, and so Yellow's producing from the other side of the map. That's something if Yellow really wanted to improve on. Uh, Yellow could with some buildings there, but hasn't done so yet. Is also going to lose some trade to Gray. And there's no trade, uh, sorry, castles in that corner. I know green is making paladins over here, but unless green does something with it, I'm kind of worried green's going to lose the king. Look, the king's on the move now. And all the... Re <laughs> Guys. Guys. <laughs> the relics. Let's go. <laughs> move out of the way, skirmisher. We've got monks with the delivery. They can only hold these things before their arms get tired. Or for so long before their arms get tired. I think there's a monastery over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. There, I remember seeing that earlier. That will be six relics. It's actually a nice golden comb. Plus all this farm, uh, farming. But I, who knows if that'll even be secure. With Grey being over here with those crossbows. And the Aztec skirmishers are no joke. And Lattle skirms, all that extra range. The skirms have, have looked way more valuable than even the eagles were earlier. And uh-oh, no way, Gray. No way. Oh, Gray didn't notice this. And green research treason. The king is inside of this TC. It's a Persian TC, so it takes a little longer. But something tells me if Gray hasn't ejected this yet, this king is going to go out into the open. Wherever that gather point is set is where that king will go, and Gray will die. What a snipe there from Bowden. And that will play a role here. Means Gray cannot control this. Now, that could still do a lot of damage. No one seems to realize it's there. But Gray just realizes after the defeat signals popped up and just says sneaky. But that was huge because this is as Green is losing his main base. Also, Snowshot, what up, what up? Does have skirms and paladins prepped. Wacky says gray. Crap. Realizing the situation there and... Well, I mean, it's been a competitive game, guys, but it hasn't exactly had a lot of Diplo recently. Would be a good time to maybe start to talk to red or talk to yellow. I think yellow's the weak link. Like, yellow's the guy who might consider actually turning on red. Green might not. Wacky Mold says you're my last ally chrome. I mean, Chrome's not a bad ally to have. <laughs> Teal's not confident, though. Teal says, oh, no. <laughs> Teal's like, oh, this guy. Who are you allied with, Red? Says Yellow, publicly. Yellow now allies Green. Interestingly enough. Which, which corrects the issue from before. I don't think Green even knew that Yellow wasn't before. Yellow, FYI, I can see your chat. That's going to make Yellow think a little bit more about things. Here come the Paladins. These Skirms will die to Paladin. They'll get completely wrecked by Paladin. Okay, so Yellow is trying to find out who Red is allied with, but is now allied again with Green, so it is still a 3v2, essentially. Red also adding some navy. Seems smart in this position. Especially if cannon galleons were to come out. Now we have cannon galleon upgrade on the way. Or elite cannon galleon, excuse me. Who wins this game? If you had to pick one person right now, who wins? I would lean against purple and against uh, teal. And that's due to the lack of trade. Um, yeah, lack of trade and also it was only two of them. But from the other three, I could kind of see it going either way. Wait a second. Green. Why is your king... Oh, I guess green had to go into red's castle before. Oh, green, you've got to get back into your own castle. I was going to say green would have a shot, but now that I think about it, green has lost half their base. And green is also inside of red's castle. 
If you're inside someone's castle like that at this stage of the game, that tells me you are loyal to the end. But yeah, we'll see. I, I think it'd be an awesome win for Yellow, right? Like, Yellow's got to be thinking the longer this game goes, that I actually do something here. Is this winnable for me? Perp, can you make a wonder? 11, no. You? And Teal says, yes. Okay, so, great job from Chrome. I always remind players at the start of every single game because people forget. You can win with a wonder or relic victory. Yes. Here and we hold. Also, there's a bug. Uh, that bug's here every single game. is so funny to me with the thumping in the corner. So, yeah, that, that's their approach now. Is they're going to try and go for wonder victory. That's going to take a long time, though. And it will continue that focus the others have on them. But they figured there's no way out of this otherwise. And so the wonder has started right there by Teal. Now you have to complete the wonder. Also, shout out to Capture Age. It now shows the wonder countdown on the screen. Also, if there's multiple wonders, so if every single player started to build a wonder, it would show a different colored wonder and the percentage attached to it. Uh, we waited a long time to get this update. I've been loving it. But yeah, I mean, the goal is to build the wonder, hold the wonder, and keep the wonder up for as long as the countdown is, but I just don't think that's possible. Now, Relic Victory, on the other hand, could be possible, but I think there's quite a few players with Relics. That's actually interesting. Does this show Relics at all? Relics. So Chrome has two, Green has six. Also, the King is on the move right now for Green. And this is smart forward thinking from Green. Green is going to relocate the King to this area. Yellow is weak. Let's chat with him. Hey, Yellow. Oh, no, and Yellow says yes. Yellow says yes immediately, but to everybody. You know you are their next target, right? And then Red, Red, Red immediately realizes what's going on. Red is a pro at chatting to everyone by mistake. Says, don't betray us. Don't do it 11. <laughs> I love it. What will Yellow say? Hey, Red, anything I can do to serve you? Yellow says, finally, sweet taste of death. JK, JK. I I'm, I'm more confused than I was 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Purple is about to die to green, but did just say, hey, Red, like, what can I do for you? I think it's too little too late here. And that is going to be the end there for purple. Uh, it also says that Green's King is threatened by, by Mike, but Mike is dead. Uh, that's just a bit of a bug there. The King is still safe for now. Sorry, no, the game must end. You played well, though, GG. This is red. Okay. Red just said, don't betray us, and left it at that. And honestly, if I were yellow, I would not betray right now. The time to betray would be if there was three people left and the two strongest players were fighting and you were the third. You'd want to like kill. You want to time your king kill with when one of the other players goes down and maybe take the victory in the final moments. The wonder's still not even above. Well, no, it is above 50%. I'm blind, but this is bad. And the king is right there. I mean, there's no way you stop this. But I like what Chrome is doing. Chrome recognizes this is probably the end. And you should say these types yes. of things. Yellow, as soon as they kill me, you are next. Okay, thank you, Wacky Mold, for talking about your, your bowels. I really needed that today. Um, the GG's called. Wacky Mold, you played well. It was a tough team you were up against there. And then the king does die in the midst of that to red, actually. And so the wonder will not complete. I think this one has to go to green, says Violent Villagers. Not sure exactly what that means. Is that red offering green the victory? Red has played very well. Red could easily try and take that victory. For getting the kill on gray while we were losing. That's, that's a fair point. I mean, that is respectable, right? Like, let's just say that if Red, it, it, the last 30 seconds didn't happen, 
and red went on to kill yellow and kill green I think in the comments people would be saying honestly red would have never won if it wasn't for yes. green killing gray I thought it best to attack from the back as they were hitting me says green red says yes well done want to fight yellow first <laughs> Uh, no. Red says, no, he weaker. Don't want to gank him. I mean... Y yellow, this is your time, buddy. They're talking about you. You're getting half the conversation. So I'm sure it's confusing. Where do you have your kings? Water? <laughs> yeah, yellow's trying to find out where the kings are. If you were to look yellow, you could probably see this garrison. I think there could be a king there, maybe a king there. I'd like to go for one or two with you on my first commie game. Okay, so this is green saying this is my first community game. I want to be either first or second with you. That's fair. First community game, you get to this point. Oh my god, yellow just turned on red. <laughs> Yellow's going for it. Let's go, baby. It's not going to work. But Yellow's a champ for trying. Yellow's like, where well, is your king on water? And then I think Yellow figured it out. And Yellow said, oh, I hope Samurai are good against these towers. Oh, Yellow, what a beast. What a beast. I, lo I love the attempt, right? Like, how many times do we see players just not try it, right? W was it the, the best sniping attempt ever? Well, not yet. Here come the petards. A little late. But yellow is still going for it, which is what I respect. Um, so now it seems like it's 2v1 versus red. Which is what uh, the initial two deaths in this game wanted, by the way, if you remember that. Okay, here comes yellow, hoping desperately that things will make it through. The castle fire will certainly be a problem. The king is there for yellow, if you're wondering. The king is here. Oh! <gasps> for green however since they're enemied this gate wall will not work wow red must I, I don't know when red placed these exactly but these are one hp so the the king can actually run red is still making rams though yeah, actually so so green is against yellow but yellow is not against green so it's kind of a 1v1v1v1 true um Sorry I didn't show the petards, but I don't think any of you expected the petards to actually make it anywhere. Um, okay, so all these kings are being attacked or, or threatened by red, according to the pop-ups here. That castle's going to go down. There's a chance that that gather point sends it out into harm's way, but I think green... No, no, no. Green just noticed. Green noticed he was going to repair, and the latest will take care of the rams, I think. Should, anyways. Um, oh god, they're auto-attacking the, the trade cards. Yellow calls the GG. Excuse me. Here, we're gonna act like I'm not blind for a second. Oh my god, yellow's about to go down to red and green. They're both working on the poor, f the poor soul. And in the end, red gets the kill. And now we have uh, this surprising ram push from red against green's castle. But yeah, I think green will hold, but the 1v1 will continue between them. And this is what green wanted. Green said, first community game, give me first or give me second. Let's fight it out. No T90 blind to speak of. Great game, Yellow. Uh, my favorite part about the game from Yellow, obviously Yellow is going to look back and be like, man, I wish I'd been able to chat a little bit differently. But honestly, my favorite part about Yellow's game plan was how Yellow committed. Like, Yellow committed. It was kind of a bad fight initially with the crossbows. But Yellow had no hesitation to go in anyways. Hesitant players can sometimes be tough to watch. And then even tried here. Now, it wasn't close, but it was still an awesome sneaky attempt. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at stockpiles real quick. Green could do this. G Green should be the favorite. Elite Latis, Paladins, all very strong. Now, of course, Byzantines can make Halbs. And there's a lot of halbs, so maybe I should hold my breath, but still feels like it's possible. But what's weird is green is to push from the south and defend in the north. 
And I guess for red, it's going to be a similar thing. Push in the north and then... Or no, push in the south and then defend in the... No, push in the... Push both sides. There we go. Whatever. That's fine. There's not a lot of working eco. I wish I could see how many halves red has in queue right now because it seems like there's a ton. Red just got halves producing up every single barracks I click. Must be using the select all barracks hotkey. Yep. Every time there's a barracks, there's a halb inside of it. I know you have all that attack with your units if you're Lithuanians, but you probably need something else. And skirmishers is a good option here. Red says, I challenge your king to a fight. He gets to bring one unit, and we see who wins. But wouldn't the Lithuanians win? Wouldn't the latest win that? I'm not sure that's what green wants, though. Also, if red is proposing this, red might realize that this could be the end. If you're confident you can win the 1v1 battle, you are not going to make that deal. The green's thinking about it, says it's tempting, but green might be recognizing, hey, I might be able to take this one. Also, this got walled in just now. Uh, looks like the paladins were sniffing around the king. Something red probably should have done earlier. Red does a really good job of just, like, saying something's going to happen. Uh, it's very assertive. I don't know where red signaled, but red said meet there, question mark, and we'll see if green does that. Um, you know, again, it, it's, it's awkward right now to defend. It's also awkward to push for both players because of how far apart everything is. I, I do not think you should take that deal if you are green with those resources. Also, I think instead of skirms... Oh, excuse me, I apologize. I think it would make sense to spend some of your gold and some hand cannons mixed with the skirms because they they do a lot more damage versus the halps. Not that skirms are bad, but they still have minimum range and like they're just not quite as pop efficient. Oh my god. Oh, so red actually went there with the king and green didn't send the king. <laughs> <laughs> and now Red's Monk could get a conversion. Nope. But okay, the king is now inside the town center, and that is Green's way of saying no deal, I guess. Sneaky stuff. But, you know, again, I think Red's realizing, I don't think I can win this. Uh, we do, however, have Green making what looks to be a battle arena. Um, So maybe the agreement will actually take place. Um, that is a, uh, I have to say, a Palisade battle arena in post-Imperial Age is a little underwhelming. I would prefer Stonewall. There's also an outpost at the front of it. Oh, guys, it's a tennis match. This is where the line judge stands. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of tennis. Got back into tennis this past year, um, and... I'm so glad that I did. Look at Red, man. So cheeky. Trying to wall these things in. Okay, here comes the uh, king. Green's going to come down here as well. There's a signal. Green, are you going to honor the rules? Green might not even realize that this latest is, is attacking at the moment. And this king will go down in three hits. Actually, four hits. And green is going to win... The first community game, Red says no and then calls the GG. There it is. That was a really interesting game. You know, the last thing I expected was for Crypto Mike Trading and Space King to die first. They were talking together. They coordinated well. But I guess, like, sometimes you can do everything right. But if you don't talk to more than just one person, the others are going to see a reason to attack you. And, and like... Again, I was critical of how Red chatted in this game. But I truly believe the reason that the Northern Two were attacked at the start was because Red was on everyone else's screens. Red was talking to everybody. Even though some of it was a little weird and didn't exactly fit the conversations, people were like, oh, Red's talking to me. I like Red. Red's cool. Red likes me. I like Red. Let's fight for Red. Red killed three kings in that game. One, two, three. Three kings. We also had Green killing three. The only other kill was when Gray... Was able to get that snipe against blue, which was very well played. And of course, the, the remaining king was green in this northern castle. 
Not bad for your first community game, Green. I would suggest never signing up again because, uh, well, I'll tell you what, it's not going to get any better than that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, it's going to be hard to live up to that one, right? Look at the KD. Got those relics really early. Now, you know what I just thought of, guys? I don't think I can page up to this chat. But do you remember what Red said earlier in the game to Green about a relic? Does anyone remember that? Because if you don't, I'll tell you, okay? So Red said, sure, you can take that relic. Just don't kill me with Latis. What a fitting end. <laughs> what a fitting end. I'm sure they forgot about it. And I know it was kind of agreed that they were going to fight that 1v1. But way back at the start, Green asked Red for a relic. Red said, sure, don't kill me with Latis. And at the conclusion of this game, the Latis killed the king. Also, since when does the crown fall off the king's head? Is this new? I do not recall seeing this. Is it just because, oh, I have a theory. It's probably because usually the bodies sink into the ground when they die. But this is a king that didn't have time to sink into the ground because the game immediately ended. Right? Maybe. I, I don't know. But uh, that's cool to see that the king has lost the crown there. I, I kind of feel bad for zooming in on the poor guy. Um, again, back to the stats. Again, there's the KD. Odin beasting it. 3-1 to one KD there almost. Economically, can't say the relics hurt. 14,000 gold brought in from just the relics. So did not trade quite as much. Actually, I'm wrong. Did trade even more than uh, red. But, you know, you was spending gold the whole game. Right? You have to have those relics. You have to have that trade if you're going to be making paladins and leeches like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I know there were a few distractions uh, at the earlier stages of that game. I apologize for that. There's been a lot of crazy stuff happening recently, but I hope people enjoyed this one out there on YouTube. Also, I saw lots of positive feedback here on the stream. I'll be curious to see what people think about the updated uh, or the updates to the casting program. I think it's awesome. I think the fact it says power text is unnecessary. I might have that removed, but Showing some of those technologies was really helpful for me as a caster. Probably easier for you guys to follow along as well as I'm talking about uh, whatever I'm discussing in the early stages. Um, also, the next time we have Relic Victory or Multiple Wonder Victories, we'll actually have the countdowns on screen now as opposed to tapping out, which would be really cool as well. Uh, GG.